Rupert Patrick is a man on a mission. He's attempting to bring back to life a lost classic blended whiskey that has not been produced since the 1940s. Rupert feels a huge sense of responsibility in his quest to develop the new blend, as the reputation of the James Eady name is at stake. I've got very high standards to live up to. I have felt over the last two or three months my shoulder being sort of looked over by the, the founder, James Eady. The stiffest test will be getting the approval of his uncle Alistair. Alistair is a direct descendant of James Eady. His father was the last Eady to run the business prior to the brewery's sale to Bass. This, as you know, is the, well, the last sort of bottling that we know of, which is around 1940 of the James Eady blend. And this is the one that we've created to go to market quite soon. We'll do it a side by side tasting. I'll pour a little bit of each and then we'll, we'll compare and contrast yes, the, good idea. the two different ones. As you'll see, this has an amazing colour. Absolutely. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Beautiful whiskey. Isn't it? Now, now we get into that's got an amazingly um, round nose and palate. But this is delicious. You like it? Yes, I do. Because I know, I know you haven't had a particular style of whiskey. How does that? That, to my mind, is is a wonderful modern day version. Yeah, absolutely lovely. It's a tough task. I mean, Norman had a really difficult task to do. I just think he's done an incredible job. Yeah. I think this is very, very good indeed, very drinkable. But the proof will be in the pudding when we start to get out Absolutely. there and market it. But what's really lovely this evening, Alistair, is you know, a lot of your family, well, our family, or my uncle, and we've got a lot of our relations coming to test it out. Having secured Alistair's approval, the final challenge is to seek the blessing of the rest of the Edie family. It's sort of smoky, which I wasn't expecting. Kind of a bit like being outside with a bonfire. They've done really well. It's a lovely, lovely blend. Actually, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I can, I can picture myself having a bit more of this. There's peat in there, but it's not overpowering. It is very delicious. I like it a lot. And it's got so many different levels to it. You start with that smokiness, and then it turns quite caramel, quite buttery sort of caramel. So it's a bit of an experience, I have to say. For Rupert, it's mission accomplished. The architecture of the brand, the images, the trademark, they're all still so relevant to today that it's not like I've had to suddenly reinvent it. I've just picked it up. I've just moved it on a bit. So I've got a great advantage in the assets he's given me.